Okay, are you ready, kids? Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer designs. Hello. So if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you have just downloaded the Photoshop Island freebie set of 10 sponge brushes. And uh, let's take a look at just a quick idea of something fun you can do with those. I'm going to go to my brushes palette and I'm going to load the 10 sponge brushes. And here they are. Starting. These are very high resolution brushes. So just like all of the brushes that you'll get from uh, PhotoshopIsland.com. And you can see the brush set starts here, 2488, 2492. These are very large brushes. Uh, let's, let's look at something fun we can do with those brushes. I want to pick the brushes panel, and I'm going to move this over here just a little bit. We've got a lot of cool options here in the brushes panel. And uh, let's see if we can take advantage of those. First thing we want to do is let's pick one of our sponge brushes. I'm going to pick... Uh, this particular one here that's a little bit lighter. And uh, I'm going to reduce the size of it because our work area is, is uh, a bit smaller. Let's try a, about uh, 270, 280, somewhere in there. And this little preview window is very helpful for what you can do in here. Let's. I, I want to create an abstract background using these sponge brushes. So I'm going to click on scattering and uh, you can see we've got a little bit of scattering right off and uh, if I click this both axes it gives me a little more scattering. I can jitter it a little bit and if you watch the preview window you can see some things going on down there. See how the, the jittering is relating to some size differences in the brush. Now let's also um, look at the shape dynamics and let's change our size jitter let's make it pretty dramatic which it, what this is doing is making the brushes randomly larger and smaller and the angle jitter we can have these rotating all kinds of different directions which looks kind of interesting uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the flip X and Y give us more of a random look and um, we'll just we'll uh, leave the rest of the settings alone. I'm going to go ahead and hide this so we don't have it here in our way. Now, I don't really want to paint with black, so I'm going to go over here and pick a red. And I think I'll create a new layer to paint on to give me a little flexibility. So here's my first layer one I'm going to paint on. And now, based on the settings that we just selected for this brush, as we begin to click and drag, we are getting all kinds of great crazy randomness here. And the great thing about this is, let's make a new layer. And let's pick a little bit darker red. And let's paint on our new layer. And we're getting, even though it's the same brush, we're getting a lot of randomness. And let's pick, pick a lighter pink color, like a new layer. And let's paint some more. And uh, you've got a nice abstract background with these brushes without very much work at all. And you, if you want to get into it a little bit more, you could change the blending modes for these to, say, multiply or uh, lighten, overlay. Just experiment here with the different uh, options and uh, see what you can come up with on some of these so that you can get some interesting um, looks to them. Not, not all of the uh, blend modes have any or a noticeable effect, so you've got to play with them a little bit. Um, of course, you can just put them all back to normal if you want to go that route as well. And since we put these all on different layers, we can move the layers around and create some different effects that way. If we want it to be a bit more random than we 
see here for some reason we could actually select let's I'm going to select this layer 3 and I'm going to go to edit transform horizon I'm going to flip it horizontally and that flips it around a different way so we've got all kinds of options just with this very simple brush for creating an interesting abstract background don't forget to check out photoshopisland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical photoshop extras from brushes to complete layered designs